Welcome back to uh, part three. If you watched part two, you saw that I made the driver boards and I uh, stuffed them all with the other parts. Turned out pretty good. I, uh, in case you're wondering, I did clean the back sides very nicely. You see, it looks a lot better than it did before. It's pretty much shiny there now. Remark v V6, V7 on there just for reference later. You see the other board as well. It looks just as nice as that one for sure. Maybe a little nicer in the second board because I got back in the roll of soldering or something, but see the back's nice and clean. I cleaned it all off. What I did is I just used, uh, instead of the Q-tip I showed, I used a fine bristle brush, some nice alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and this brush. I brushed it there and then basically took paper towel on top of the board, and then on top of that paper towel I brushed, dabbed it with the brush and brushed it around so it absorbs up the stuff and it came up pretty clean. So I'll just get it out of the way so the boards are clean. So we're going to do the chassis build. So basically we're going to take the chassis and uh, put all the hardware parts in it, so the tube sockets, the rectifier socket, lots of tube socket, the power switch, the probe, probe the sockets, the speaker connectors, the, the AC plug connector, so all the hardware in here. So the feet on the bottom. And then we're going to do the other chassis and do the same thing, so then we'll have both chassis with all their hardware on it. And then we'll be ready, transformers, everything will be in, be ready to start wiring the amp. And we'll wire the amps and we'll follow the instructions and we'll build both of them parallel, <laughs> just like the board. So both will be done. And then I'll, when that happens, uh, uh, the next video will be about me starting to wire one amp. I'll wire the entire amp. When that's all done, I'll test it. If it works fine, then I'll go to the second amp and do the second amp. So it's going to be fun. So uh, I'll start looking at the instructions and we'll start making the, taking the build.
Well, that's uh, that was quite a bit of work. We've got one chassis, all the hardware mounted in one chassis. So it's ready to start the wiring. So I'm going to put this chassis aside and uh, I'll build up the other chassis. Then I'll both chassis, all the hardware installed in them. Then I'll do one wiring. I'll wire one amp completely, test it, if it works, then go and do the other amp. So it was a good amount of work. It was a lot of fasteners and pieces to go in there. It started getting hard when you put the transformer on. Just be very careful as soon as you start handling with the transformer and I scratched it, I forgot to put a towel under it. I already scratched the lid of the, the bell of the transformer so I'll have to make a template or something and cover it up and then do a bit of a spray to cover up those scratches before I start doing the rest. And then uh, so it's pretty good, it got very heavy very fast when these transformers got in. You can see, uh, flip it over, again it's getting very heavy now. It's the handle with care stage, try to get it all in here. Keep it on the soft towel so I don't uh, scratch our transformers. So you get it all in the frame there. I think pretty close right there. I don't see everything at the edge. I'm just missing a little bit. But uh, as you can see, I got everything in. So tube sockets are all in. I'm wiring for the power transformers hanging around. Got the two chokes in. Got the supplementary caps put in place. The switch, everything's in there. So this was. Bit of a tricky part there to bend all the components and make your little five terminal uh, capacitor thing there. So that was a bit of a chore, that's for sure. And uh, but it was pretty straightforward, just had to take my time. It's a lot of work and uh, make sure it's nice and snug and follows the instructions step by step. You can't go wrong. The only thing the cap can feels pretty good. Twisted the lugs. Put a little black feed on top of that after so and I didn't over tighten on the power transformer because it's got the isolation feed so nice and snug just to start squeezing the isolation feet so it's nice and snug but it's not uh, you're not wrecking the isolation feed you gotta keep them isolating it you don't want to squeeze it completely yeah it was uh worked out pretty good though it was uh worked nice so I gotta build the other one and then uh we'll start the wiring so the next part of the video will be wiring which should be exciting